Hello there, this is Don Kern with Shelbyville Today. I'm here at the Strand this evening shooting my video. Um, this weekend is the finals for Shelby Idol, as you can see on the marquee up here. What you can't see is on the opposite side, it talks about next weekend, uh, Shelby County Players production of Suds, uh, the 60s musical, is going to be starting. Uh, so that's next weekend, not this weekend. Shelby Idol is Saturday night at 7 o'clock, and that's the finals. Um, and then also, uh, Chick McGee and Friends will be here later in the month, towards the end of July. Uh, and another reason that I'm here right now is that as I'm, I'm shooting this, which is Thursday evening, um, there's a bunch of people, hopefully a bunch of people, they were looking for volunteers because they are removing a bunch of seats from the Hilbert Circle Theater. Um, I guess they are, they're upgrading and uh, so they're giving us their seats. Um, and these are premium, premium seats because they're actually balcony seats which get used a little less. Of course the balcony here gets used a lot just because they have so many sellout crowds that they fill the place up. But these are really nice seats so we're going to get um, much improved seating here at the Strand Theater so that's going to be cool. And uh, they're up there removing those seats and bringing them down here. Um, so the rest of the weekend. Um, on Friday evening, we have uh, Movies in the Park. It's at Kennedy Park this week, and um, it is actually going to be um, Madagascar 3 playing this week, so that'll be at dusk on Friday night. And of course, the drive-in is running all week, and uh, they are all weekend, and they actually are going to be showing Despicable Me 2 and Monsters University this weekend again. Uh, it's a carryover uh, from last weekend, and so uh, you get one more chance to see it if you haven't seen those great family movies. So that'll be all weekend, um, and Sunday night, of course, is $20 car load night. So uh, if you got a big family, that's the night to go do that. You'll see lots of car loads of families there um, on Sunday evening for the $20 car load night. Um, also on Saturday, we have the Farmer's Market in the morning, 8 to noon. Um, Gleaners uh, Food Bank with, and also uh, sponsored by Pantry Pals, they will be at the high school from 10 till noon uh, if you need to pick up some food there. Uh, the library um, at 11 and I believe 2 will be uh, having a movie um, at the youth department. And then um, as I mentioned, in the evening is the finals for Shelby Idol. Um, also, um, the 24-hour um, cancer walk will actually be the Relay for Life will be happening at the fairgrounds. That's from 10 a.m. Saturday till 10 a.m. Sunday. They've got a bunch of teams signed up to do that. Um, there'll be different things going on there, including an auction at 7 o'clock. Uh, with a bunch of donated items like, you know, Indians tickets, uh, things like that. Uh, that's at 7 o'clock. Um, I believe it's at the fairgrounds. It's all part of the Relay for Life activities. So the Relay for Life um, is just a cancer walk. It's um, there are cancer survivors, people walking in memory of people who have passed away from cancer. Um, it's just to bring attention to the, the whole, uh, whole cancer situation and um, just to uh, support those that are going through it, have gone through it, that kind of thing. So uh, that's the 24-hour cancer walk out at the Shelby County Fairgrounds. Um, I also wanted to mention this next week is, um, th this whole summer a lot of churches have been having VBS, but there's one of particular note. Trinity United Methodist Church has a uh, program they call uh, TOP. It's the Trinity Outreach Program. And it's actually a uh, Taekwondo karate uh, or, um, martial arts uh, program that they have there where it's a free program. They have a lot of kids, adults have joined, and uh, they have classes um, every week. Well, their VBS actually will have as part of it some demonstrations by the various groups. There's a board breaking contest to raise funds. Um, it's a break-a-thon where they break enough boards that they've been sponsored for. Uh, there's a night of fire where they actually have uh, flaming boards that some of the uh, pros that are in the group uh, break. Um, it's just a really high energy action filled BBS that's all week at Trinity United Methodist Church. That's out near the fairgrounds if you don't know where that is. They've got several stations set up. 
um, in their church, in their um, activity center, and then in a tent out behind Phelps Towing. Um, and they're going to have some horses there uh, beforehand. So um, if you haven't got your kid to a VBS this summer, or even if you have, go ahead and get them over for that. Um, also, Crossroad Community Church is having their VBS this week. I believe it's only a three-night VBS if your time is limited. And I also saw that first uh, Nazarene Church there at the, uh, just south of Nine and McKay um, also is having their VBS this week. So several options there if you want to get your kid into a VBS in one evening. Um, but again, like I said, the one um, at Treaty United Methodist Church is uh, pretty high energy. I did a video of that. If you go to our YouTube channel and uh, check that out from last year, you will see some of what you can expect to see at this VBS program. Uh, it's worth, if you're going to pick your kid up, it's worth coming early to watch that final program there um, where they do a lot of the demonstrations and such. All right, that's what I got for this weekend, uh, the, the week, weekend of July 11th through 13th. And uh, enjoy your weekend, and we will come back at you again next week. Thanks.